Hi everybody, this is a review video of the first grade, the song of the banana man. So let me just rehearse this uh, poem first before we go anywhere further, okay? So the song of the banana man. Twice white man wiping his face, met me in Golden Grave Marketplace. He looked at my clothes brown with stain and soaked right through with the Portland rain. He cast his eye, turned up his nose, he says, boy get some occupation, I said, by God and this big right hand. You must recognize a banana man. Up in the hills where the streams are cool and Mueller and Zhangjia swim in the pool. I have 10 acres of mountainside, a dainty foot donkey that I ride, four gross meats and four lakatan, some coconut trees and some hills of yam. And I pasture on that very same land, five she goats and a big black ram. That, by God and big this right hand, is the property of the banana man. I leave my yard early morning time and send my food to the mountain climb. I bend my back to the hot sun toil, my cutlass rings on the stony toil. Plowing and weeding, digging and planting, till Massa sun drop back of the John Crow mountain. Then home again in cool evening time, perhaps whistling this little rhyme. Praise God and my big right hand, I will live and die, a banana man. Bay is calm and the moon is bright, hills look black for the sky is light. Down at the dock is an English ship, resting after an ocean trip. While on the pier is a monster hustle, tally men carry us all in a bustle, with stems on their head in a long black snake. Some singing the songs that banana men make, like praise God and my big right hand, I will live and die, a banana man. Then the payment comes, we have some fun. Me, Jekyll, Brad, I end up his son. Down at the bar near Unary Wharf, we knock back a white rum, bust a laugh. Fill the empty bag for further toil with soul, fi with soul fish, breadfruit, coconut oil. Then head back home to my yard to sleep. Proper sleep that is long and deep. Yes, by God and my big right hand, I live and die a banana man. So when you see these old, cl old clothes brown with stain and soaked right through with the Portland rain, don't cast your eye nor the tone your nose. Don't judge a man by his patchy clothes. I'm a strong man, a proud man. I'm free. Free as this mountain, free as this sea. I know myself and I know my ways, and will sing with pride to the end of my days. Praise God and my big right hand, who live and die, Banana Man. So, this Banana Man, the song of the Banana Man is an example of different dictions, right? So last time when we talk about the key element of a poem, I told you that there are some of the elements that you need to consider when you're analyzing poem, such as like purpose of the poem, and tone and mood of the poem, and the poets use different dictions, different group of vocabulary words in order to their uh, messages and in order to deliver their story. And this song of the banana man is the example of the different dictions that each poet uses. So this poem is quite a simple and straightforward uh, song, but I personally think this song is really beautiful and it expresses strong identity of the writer. So as a person who, whose native language is non-English, so the most prominent feature of this poem is to uh, using this broken language. So the poem, uh, the poet intentionally used this broken language in order to express his own identity. So he tells his story in this poem that he says this tourist white man wiping his face met me Golden Grove Marketplace. So the speaker of this poem is this uh, Evan Jones. He, he, he speaks about his story as a Jamaican person. And he met this white tourist in this Golden Grove marketplace in Jamaica. And he looked at my clothes brown with stain and soaked right through with the Portland rain. This white tourist, he saw me. I was wearing this uh, clothes which was quite brown with dirt, dirt all over. And you know, in Portland, Jamaica and Portland, it seems that there is rain a lot. So he, uh, uh, Evan Jones, the speaker's clothes was quite wet with rain. So this white tourist saw the speaker uh, wearing uh, dirty clothing and quite wet with rain. So this white tourist, he cast his eyes and suddenly turns up his nose and he says, boy, get some occupation. You know, normally you don't address an adult as a boy. But this white tourist, he is like looking down on the speaker. Maybe because the speaker is wearing this dirty clothing and get wet and look quite uh, dirty 
you know, appearance. So that's so why Tori is calling him, addressing him as a boy, and telling him, assuming that this person doesn't have a job, saying that, hey, get some occupation, why don't you get a job? So the speaker says, I said, by God and this big right hand, you must recognize a banana man. So he is saying that, hey, you have to recognize a banana man. I am a banana man. I have a, my, my banana farm up in the hills. So the banana man goes, up in the hills where the streams are cool, Mule and Zhangja swim in the pool. I have 10 acres mountainside and a dainty foot donkey that I ride, four gross Mitchell and four Lakatan, some coconut trees and some hills of yam, and I pasture on that very same land, five she goat and a big black ram, that by God and this big right hand is the property of the banana man. So the speaker is saying that up in the hills, I have uh, 10 acres of mountain, mountainside. I have a huge land. And inside the land, I have a stream. And inside the stream, a mulet and Zhangja swims. So this is a mulet, right? The example of fish, mulet, and this is a Zhangja, right? So mulet and Zhangja is swimming in the stream. You know? Can you imagine how big the stream should be to have a mulet and Zhangja swimming inside? So I have huge land up in the mountain and in the in the land I have stream, big stream. Not only that, I have a dainty foot donkey. Dainty means the baby foot. I have baby foot donkey look just like this, right? Baby foot donkey here. <laughs> so I have baby foot donkey that I ride and I ride around this donkey and I have four gross mitchell, four like a ton. Gross mitchell is the species of banana, right? Here gross mitchell looks something like this, gross mitchell. And Lakatan also is a different species of the banana, looks like this. So it's quite looks quite similar, Grus Mitchell Lakatan, quite similar. And he has four Grus Mitchell banana trees and four Lakatan banana trees. Not only that, he has some coconut trees as well, coconut trees and some hills of yam. Yam is something like a, something similar to a sweet potato like this. You guys like sweet potato? So I have a Hills, not just one yam, not just one sweet potato. I have uh, entire hills full of these yams. Yummy, right? Yummy. <laughs> and I pasture on that very same land. So, you know, not only that, I cultivate some other crops in the same land. And five she goat. I have five female, female goat and a big black ram. Ram is a male, male sheep, male goat. So I have a big black male goat. So I can reproduce this goat as well. So I have these many animals too. So that by God, I swear by God, and I swear by this big right hand, is the property of the banana man. I own all of these properties. Okay. So he continues, I leave my yard early morning time. So I left for work early in the morning, send my foot to the mountain climb. So I start to climb to mountain to get into my land. I bend my, my back to the hot sun toil. So, you know, I bend my back under the sun and I work hard. And my cutlass rings on the stony toil. So cutlass is a kind of knife that you use to cut the banana trees, banana stems. You know, it rings. So the cut you use the knife and you wring it to cut the bananas, right? And plowing and weeding. So you plow, right? In order to cultivate a lot of things, a lot of food, you plow your land and you weed. You have to cut all the little grasses in order to manage your main crops. So you weeding and digging and planting, you need to dig some more ground and plant some more, more rice or wheat or other yams and you work until Masa sun, until the sun drops back the John Crow mountain. So I guess there is a famous mountain in Jamaica, Portland, near Portland area. So until the sun goes down to a mountain, John Crow, he works. Then home again in cool evening time. So I go back home in under the cool evening time, perhaps whistling this little rhyme. So when I go home, I say, I sing this little rhyme, like, praise God and my big right hand, I will live and die, my banana man. So it sounds like a lot of pride of being a banana man, of being himself, right? So the bay is calm and the moon is bright. 
the hill looks black for the sky is light. So down, uh, so when he goes home, you know, the bay, I guess he lives by a bay area and bay is quite calm and the moon is bright and the hill looks black and the sky is light. So down at the dock is an English ship. So when you go down by a dock or harbor, some place like this, pier and harbor, you might see like some English ship cruising, wants to cru uh, cru English cruising, sh cruising ship and resting after an ocean trip. So this cruising ship, they went, traveled around this Jamaican area and it is, it is taking a break in the in dock area. So while on the pier is monstrous hustle. So pier, in the pier, I guess there are a lot of uh, tourists and a lot of people in the pier. So there is a hustle. People make uh, move busily, hustle around in that area. And there are tallyman, carrier, all in the bustle. Tallyman is a person who tried to collect the ticket. Carrier is a porter who move around the stuff for the passengers. So there are tallyman, carriers working busily in the pier, all in a bustle. Bustle is trying to make a busy scenery, working busily. With stands on their head in the long black snake. So, so when these ships move, you know, the behind, the, behind these ships, you make a long, long like line of water, look just like a black snake. So the Evan Jones is comparing this uh, black water with a black, sh black snake. And some singing the songs that Banana Man make, like praise God and my big right hand, I will live and die, Banana Man. So while these people are working busily around the pier area, some people like usually you know the cruising passengers are like white people and the working people like tallyman carriers be, these people are likely to be a jamaicans so these jamaican people are sing a song like praise god in my big right hand i live and die banana man so these people are proud of being uh, being what they are okay and finally then the payment comes and we have some fun so this banana man, he collected his banana trees and moved it down to a banana stand and he sell his bananas and finally he got the payment and then the payment comes and we have some fun. So after he get paid, he tried to get, have fun, me, Jekyll, Breda and Duppy's son. I guess these are some friends, right, Jekyll, Breda and Duppy. And they have fun and down at the bar near United Wharf we knock back a white rum. So I guess they have a bar around like a United Wharf area. So they drink white rum. They drink alcohol and bust a laugh. They have a fun, they laugh each other, talk, laugh, having fun, having great time, fill the empty bag for further toil. So you know that they get money and they uh, spend their money on drink. And you know, when they go home, they have to buy something for their family members. So in their empty bag, they buy with salt fish, bread, fruit, and coconut oil. So they buy some stuff. They buy food for their family members, such like salt fish. I guess uh, salt fish is the fish that is like seasoned with, with salt. Maybe look something like this, right? Salt fish and bread fruit. I guess this bread fruit is the quite uh, famous one in Jamaica. Maybe the bread fruit. Fruit looks like a bread. And you use coconut oil, you buy coconut oil is important to cook other food. So you, you get this stuff in your put in put it in your bag, then head back home to my yard to sleep. So you go home to get some sleep. Proper sleep that is long and deep. And so your home is quite comfortable place and in there you, you worked all day long and tired. So you get a long and deep sleep home and comfortable home. Yes, by God and my big right hand live and die a banana man. So I live and die as a banana man. He is just, by, keep, by repeating this same rhyme over and over, he expresses that he is quite uh, proud of himself being a banana man. So when you see these old clothes brown stained and soaked right through with the Portland rain, don't cast your eye nor your tongue your nose. Don't judge a man by his patched clothes. So he's telling this white tourist, next time you see this person with a brown clothes, and soaked with Portland rain, don't cast your eye like that. Don't give him a disrespectful eye. 
or don't turn your nose up and giving like really a uh, contemptuous look to this person. And don't judge a man by his patched clothes. Just because a man wears a dirty and brown clothes doesn't mean that person is deserved to be disrespected. You know? Because, you know, I wear this clothes and I get wet with this rain, but I'm a strong man. I'm a proud man. I am free. You know? I have all this property and I'm proud of being a, a, a banana man. And free as this mountain, free as this sea, I know myself and I know my ways. And will sing with pride to the end of my days. So I'm going to keep on living as a, as a, a banana man until the end of my day. So praise God and my big right hand, I will live and die a banana man. So I'm going to live and die as a banana man. So this poem is quite a simple, but it has a beautiful sound inside, as you can see by uh, rep repeating uh, similar uh, rhymes and similar phrases at the end of each stanza. Also, it has a, a regular rhythm, rhythms inside each sentence, each line of sentence. So I guess you can easily feel the music and you know, this music and rhythm just deliver us with a particular energy, particular dynamic movement of Jamaica. And also using this colloquial language and broken language, it also gives us a strong sentiment, st strong feel of a self-identity as a Jamaican person. Also, by using a, a lot of images and by using many products and many like items that's quite uh, famous in Jamaica, and we can feel the exotic feelings of, uh, of this poem. So, you know, this also poem somehow remind me of the many like farmers, many workers in Korea as well. Like the one, my like grandfather that I saw when I was young in the countryside. It quite has a similar sentiment toward, the, toward that, uh, ten, toward uh, my memory. So I guess that's the why, that's why I maybe uh, like this poem. And I hope that uh, you guys also like this poem too. Okay. Again, guys, thank you. I hope uh, it helped your understanding of this material. Okay, thank you for listening, and good job, and see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.